Hello movie lovers, today I will be recapping a thriller romance movie known as Obsession. Sunny is following Larissa as she makes her way from the farm to her house. As she is ready to enter the house, Sunny grabs her arm firmly and glares angrily in her direction. He then informs her that he saw her with George and how she was all over him. Sunny is quite envious that Larissa showed romantic interest in George, but Larissa responds by telling Sunny that George is actually her husband. Sonny is on a bus to the Louisiana Bayou region in order to look for work. He has no place to stay in this new city, therefore all of his stuff are in his backpack. Sonny exits the bus and chooses to freshen up in a public restroom before going to a job interview in a vehicle repair shop. When Sonny arrives at the workshop and informs the owner that he is a talented mechanic looking for work, the owner tells Sonny that he does not want him and that all of the open positions have already been filled. Sonny leaves the workshop with his hopes dashed. It's now evening, and Sonny, who is unemployed and without a place to stay, is walking past A. He quickly realizes that he is homeless on his first night in a new town and that he will sleep on a bench until he can find a job and afford a place to stay. Sonny sits on a bench in the back alley and closes his eyes, he thinks there is no one nearby, however, suddenly he hears something, an elderly man is getting into his car as a man with a knife tries to mug him. The older man is initially speechless from shock but soon begins to yell and beg the thug not to rob him. The thug doesn't care and instead attacks the elderly man, stabbing him multiple times with a knife before Sonny arrives on the scene. Tries to use his rucksack to strike the criminal. The criminal attempts to fight back but quickly learns that Sonny might be more powerful. Over him the old man is bleeding from several places when the thug panics and flees, leaving Sonny and the old man behind. Both of them are alarmed as Sonny notices the bleeding, and an ambulance is called to take the old man to the hospital. While the old man is being treated, Sonny introduces himself as George and begins discussing all the ways he would hurt the thug if he ever saw him again. Sonny says that standing up for the elderly man was the only moral thing to do as both the policeman and George thank him. Soon enough, George begins to interrogate Sonny about who he is, what he does, and where he lives. As Sonny is a homeless man without a job, Sonny has no answers to any of George's questions. George is informed by Sonny that he lacks accommodations, all of his stuff are in his rucksack, and he has nothing else for himself. George and Larissa are overjoyed that Sonny saved George's life, so they invite him to their farmhouse for dinner. During the meal, George asks Sonny about his job, and Sonny tells him the truth, saying that he is an excellent mechanic and can fix anything with wheels. George promptly offers Sonny a position as his farm technician and provides him with housing on the property. Nevertheless, George is unaware that Sonny has been staring at Larissa and paying attention to her physique throughout the entire evening. Following that, each day Sonny and Larissa catch themselves staring at each other while Sonny is busy fixing a car. Larissa is staring out the window and observing him move another day. George takes Sonny to the garage the following day and tells him all the work that has to be done. Sonny washes himself with a hose after another hot and sweaty day of labor as Larissa, wearing a lovely gown, waters the flowers on her front porch. Larissa is throwing Sonny sly glances while she pretends to read a book while seated on a swing on her porch. Sonny is beginning to recognize the energy they are both giving out, and they are developing a strange, silent connection. She approaches Sonny one day as he works in the garage and asks him to stop staring at her but Sonny realizes that things are not as straightforward as that. Sonny informs Larissa that if she knows he's staring at her, then just indicates that she was also staring at him. Sonny is self-assured and makes it clear to Larissa that he likes her and is not backing down. The three of them are having dinner together at night, and while Larissa is doing the dishes, George invites Sonny to join him in the living room for a whiskey drink. While Sonny is waiting for George to bring the whiskey into the living room, Sonny is instructed to get some glasses with ice. This gives Sonny plenty of time alone with Larissa so he can make a move. Sonny doesn't feel any regret and doesn't understand Larissa's regret because he isn't married and wants to continue having great sex. Larissa enters the house and begins to take a shower as George arrives home. She watches him from the window of her bathroom as he eagerly takes her to the garage to show her the now operational car. Larissa clears the blockage in the bathtub, which is now filled with filthy water from the grease she cleaned from her body. She is still very regretful. 
After dinner one night, the three of them are sitting in the living room while George has had too many drinks and is obviously inebriated. Meanwhile, George is completely unconscious and passed out in the living room. Once you've finished making love Larissa and Sonny begin their secret sexual relationship by opening up to one another while they are lying next to each other. Soon after, they begin to fall in love and decide they want to spend the rest of their lives together. Larissa is initially hesitant about Sonny's plan, but later joins in and agrees to help him plan the murder of George. They plan to make it look like an accident so that no one suspects what happened. They realize that for this to happen George has to be removed from the picture so Larissa can inherit the farmhouse and both Sonny and Larissa can live there happily as a couple. When Sonny was nearby making sure that George stayed in the proper spot, the car part fell on him, killing him instantly and crushing him to death. Sonny is concerned that George's blood will now be on the crime scene as well, but he tells Larissa not to worry about him and to go outside and wash her shoes, which now have a lot of blood on them. Eventually, the police are called, and Larissa dons a big shrug. When Sonny starts questioning Larissa about what she told the police, she panics and begins stating they shouldn't have done this, which alerts the investigators who are highly smart that something smells foul. Sonny sacrifices himself for Larissa and goes to jail while she is free but left alone at the farmhouse without George or their son. Sonny doesn't want the police to find out that Larissa was also involved in the murder because he loves her and doesn't want her to go to jail instead he writes a confession letter to the police saying that he committed the murder. The movie ends here. I hope you enjoyed the video click the subscribe button for more movie recaps.